Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Jones. Uh, if you've been following my vlog recently, you'll know that I made a cross-country move to be able to work in a uh, nationally distinguished Title I school. And I, if you looked at my work in progress classroom tour, you'll know that I have very little storage, both for myself and even less for my students. And so I went home and looked at Pinterest and looked at classroom tours on YouTube, and I saw these really handy uh, seat pocket covery things uh, where students can put their books at, the, at a pocket in their seat. And so I thought, well, that looks pretty easy to do. Surprisingly enough, although there are lots of pictures of these on Pinterest and um, a lot of people saying how wonderful they are and how easy they are to make, there actually are no instructions on how to make them. So I'm going to show you how to make these. These are very, very simple. Luckily, my, my wonderful mother-in-law is a fantastic seamstress, and so she and I spent an evening kind of with one of the chairs from my school here and measuring and fitting and trying different things. And this is what we came up with, the simplest and easiest to do. So I wanted to walk you through the process for making these. So the first thing you want to do is you want to measure how wide your seat is. And you want to add a couple of inches. So my seat is, if you measure it this way, from here to here, it's 15 inches. But if you take into account this part, if you measure, say, from here, over to here, it's about 16 and a half inches. And what we ended up with, it just kind of happened by luck, we had some 18 and a half inch wide fabric, and it was absolutely perfect. So what I would suggest to you is that you take your chair at its widest and add two inches. So this is 16, this chair is 16 and a half inches wide. And so I cut the fabric you'll come over here, here's my fabric. I've cut my fabric 18 and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna try to um, kind of stick you on something here and show you how I'm gonna fold it and pin it. Sorry, I'm setting this kind of, ah. I apologize, I don't have my, uh, my little camera stand here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually make this part. This is the pocket that goes over the seat back. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of fabric, and by the way, you want to use a denim fabric, something that's heavy duty. Um, not not too heavy, sort of a light denim works or um, a, a, a twill fabric, you know, something like that dockers are made out of. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my uh, fabric um, down nine inches. And nine inches is about the size of that back plate that's on my uh, seat that's about it's approximately nine inches. So I've got this folded back nine inches. Now I'm going to flip my fabric over. I hope you can see this. I'll just set a little check to see that you can. Sort of fantastic. Then I'm going to take my fabric. I'm going to bring it up, up, and then fold it back. And I'm going to measure, there we go, I'm going to measure from the top, my fold line right here, to my second fold line here. I'll take you off, um, off where I've got you here in a second, as soon as I get that, I'm just going to measure and make sure it's two inches. And one thing you want to make sure while you're doing this is that you're lining up the fabric on the sides. Even if it ends up being a little poochy in the middle, a little poochy in the middle is a okay because it'll give you a little bit of give. So 
let's take a look at that. So here's my folded edge. My second folded edge is exactly two inches. And I just measured it here and here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a pin here. Um, and I'm going to put a pin here. Oh, wait. Fast forward. I mean, back up. Before you want to fold it, you want to serge all your edges. So for this fabric, this is not going to fray, so I don't need to serge it. But I would serge the sides. And I like using a contrasting color fabric. So after you've serged your giant rectangle, that's when you're going to fold it. So you can see, oops, sorry, down here, that's going to be, right here is going to be the part that goes over the back of the seat, where the child's back is going to be. And then all I do is I just put a pin here, and I put a pin up here. And then I'm going to serge across. This, this fabric has a little bit of extra space here. You can just leave that hanging or you could cut it and serge it. So you just serge all the way up. And then you serge all the way up. And then I would take a moment just to press these two folds with a nice hot iron. And that's it. It is really that quick and that simple. Uh, we did all sorts of creative, tried to be really creative at first and did pockets out of jeans and all sorts of crazy things. And we just found this is the simplest and the easiest to do. Um, once you get a rhythm going, cutting out and surging and um, is really each one takes maybe 15 minutes. So I will uh, show you what this looks like at the end. Uh, I have so all sorts of different fabrics. I have the dark fabric that we started with. Here's some more fabric we have yet to cut out. Uh, but I hope this helps those of you who are thinking that making these chair covers is really daunting and really challenging. And basically all you have to be able to do is follow measurements to cut things out um, and uh, to be able to serge them. So one more time, this strip of fabric um, is 18 and a half inches wide. I don't think I told you how long it is. So it was two inches wider than my chair, and it's 43 and 5 eighths inches long. Although you can probably tell that it probably doesn't have to be quite that long. You're going to fold it back about 9 inches, and then you're going to fold it up 2 inches from the top. Um, I'm oh, sorry, before, before you do, I keep forgetting. Surge everything that needs to be surged first. Then you're going to fold it back nine inches, fold it two inches from the top, stick a pin, stick a pin, surge, surge, press your folds, and you are done. So I hope I made this as clear as mud. It's late. Uh, we've been doing this all day long. Um, and I hope this helps you in to do chair pockets. And I will definitely keep you guys informed about how things are going with my new chair pockets. Thanks a lot, TTFN, ta-ta for now.